Hey everybody, it's Gumplin Millie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have this humongous unboxing video for you guys. I just got this box today, freshly arrived from Japan, and I'm so, so excited to open and see what's in here and show you guys. Um, I just love unboxing and I waited to film this on camera. I mean, I can't even get the whole thing in frame because it's just humongous. Let me show you guys like a little bit what you can see here. Um, there's a whole box. Like it's basically almost as tall as me that's how big this thing is it's ginormous so let me get started into tackling this because i feel like it's gonna take me quite a while to get through this box but before i get started into unboxing this giant thing of goodies i want to give a huge thank you to hobby search for sponsoring this unboxing for you guys today i'm going to have the link down in the description below so you guys can check it out they're an awesome awesome online website they mostly specialize in figure models gundam kits all kinds of other types of model kits as well and they ship international so for those of you that live overseas you know this website can be much easier to order from hobby search is actually where i pre-ordered a lot of my gundam figures so i bought um you can't see him in the video but he's over there yeah over there i got my char figure the one that i really love i actually pre-ordered him from hobby search because they have really great prices for their is it pvc figures i don't know i don't really collect figures except for gundam ones but yeah i basically pre-ordered from them because they have like the best prices in my opinion for model figures now let me open this thing i'm going to flip this guy this way this must weigh at least like 50 pounds. Opening this bad boy up so we can see what came in here. I'm gonna have my hands full with so much things that um, I will be building in the next couple of weeks. I just uh, finished building the Real Great Sazabi. I really, really, you know, I, I used to hate the Real Great line, but now, it's really growing on me. That kit was absolutely amazing. I will be doing a review for that eventually. Lots and lots of paper. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff in here. I've never, like, I mean, actually, no, I have. I bought this amount of stuff, close to this stuff. Actually, no more when I go to Japan. I spend way too much money on Gundams, but, uh, yeah. whoo! This is like the biggest box order I've ever done. Okay. Let me start off with the bigger ones. First one up is the Master Grade, upside down. The Master Grade um, version of the Sananju Stein from the Gundam narrative version or anime movie. Movie, I think, yeah, it was a movie, it wasn't really an anime uh, season. But I thought this guy looked really, really cool. And so. I kind of want it because I do have the original, well, no, I guess maybe not original, but I have the version Ka, and I really love the whole white, you know, kind of color that he has, so I thought this guy would be a really cool addition, and I'm pretty excited to get to build him and put him on my shelf with all my rest of the Xeon kits. So there's the first one, and next one, another Xeon kit, the high grade High grade. <laughs> Master grade. What's wrong with me? Master grade Hyakushiki. I built the hybrid version of this and I was just like amazed at the model. And I was just like, you know what? I need to get the Master Grade Master Grade in because I just love the high grade so much. Um, if you guys are looking for a high grade to start off with, that is a really amazing kit. I highly recommend the high grade. So I really wanted my hands on this master grade. I would go to Japan, I'd see him on display in Yonabashi, and I was just like, oh, I don't know, because it's kind of expensive. And I don't know if I really like the design of the Kyakushiki, but after doing the high grade, his design really um, grew on me. So I thought, you know, this would be a good addition to my collection again of, you know, Sion stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry if you guys like the Federation more, but I just think that Sion has such cool models. I mean, I can't be the only one that thinks that. Next up is the real grade unicorn full arm full armored unicorn Gundam real grade. Um, I honestly, when this guy first came out, I wasn't too. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of the unicorn design. 
Um, it's just, I, I guess I'm just like over it because it's like there's like a thousand models of the unicorn. I'm just kind of like, ugh. you know, it's like oversaturation of it. So it, it's like, mm, I prefer other things maybe because it just, Bandai really pushes unicorn in your face and I'm kind of tired of it. You know, it's like, no Bandai, no more unicorn crap. But I actually really, really like the green cycle frame that this guy has versus the traditional red one. So I don't really like all this stuff on him i kind of just wanted the green cycle frame but more than likely i will be building you know the entire kit for the review for you guys but yeah i really only wanted this just for because it's green and i really i have the high grade um uh it was a limited release he's got all the crystals on him i have that high grade as well i picked it up when i was in japan the other year all right next up is the real great new Gundam. I really, really wanted this guy. Um, I did get it in and you, I think I did an unboxing video with this guy included and I decided to give it as a giveaway. So uh, I didn't get it for myself. So now I finally got one for myself so I can build and pull it, pull it, put it in some really cool poses with the Sazabi that real great that I just finished building. So I'm pretty excited because this is actually one of my favorite Gundam designs. I guess you can call me boring, you know, I don't know, but I really, really like the new Gundam. I do have the version Ka and I was just like, the real great is so clean. Everyone talks so many good things about this thing that, you know, I kind of wanted one for myself. So there's that, it, was, it took me a little bit, but he's finally here. Moving on to another real grade because like I said, I've kind of been on a real grade binge and everyone recommended the real grade Toggies. So this is the next real grade that I'm very excited to build because I actually heard really good things about this one. And of course it's Gundam Wing, huge Gundam Wing fan here. So, you know, I gotta get this one. Um, I actually really, really like Toggies design. Um, even though kind of it's a little funky because, you know, it's after a bird. But I still think it's really cool. Here's some more pictures of the box or pictures. What am I talking about? I'm just too excited that I can't even talk right because, like, what's better than getting a huge box of Gundams? I don't know. I mean, you tell me. Like, this is, this is, I'm in the zone right now. Like, nothing can make me happier than this. Right, Winry? She's over there sleeping. You know, just doing dog stuff. Okay, next up is the high grade Noble Gundam. Um, I really, really, really like this design. I have the is it Berserk mode? Um, where she's like all kind of like trans am. <laughs> you know, not trans am, but you know, guys know what I mean. She's like all pink. So I have that version and I already have this one as well. I use it as a wedding cake topper. So she's in her little special outfit. So I wanted just another one that I can put on the shelf next to my other one. Here's a little bit closer image. I really, really like this high grade. So I wanted one more. So I just put it in the shelf. I think she's right over there. I don't think you can get her. Maybe she's next to the God Gundam down there. So I will add her over there with her friends. Next one up, I have another high grade. This is from the 08 MS team. I absolutely love this anime. It's actually my favorite Gundam anime. Um, I did only recently started watching anime. I wasn't very into the whole Gundam anime. I just like the kits. I know I'm not the only person who likes to build the kits versus actually watch the anime. So I'm in the process of, of watching the anime. It's grown on me now. Maybe that I'm older and I can actually get into it. But when I was younger, I know I only built the model kits. I didn't watch nothing about Gundam. I didn't know anything about Gundam. I literally just built the kits that I thought looked cool. And that's how I started. So this guy here is from the 8 MS team. I'm trying to get all of them so I can make like a cool diorama with all the kits together. So I'm pretty excited to put him together. I know he's an older one, but you know, who cares if it's older kit, you know, it doesn't matter. You just get whatever you like. So like I said, I'm trying to collect all of the ones from the 8 MS team. All right, moving on, uh, we are talking about the 8th MS team. Here is another one. The, of course, the villain, if you would call him the villain, the goof, custom. So again, I'm trying to get all of these from the series. 
So here are some side images. Overall, I really love the goof design. Um, blue is one of my favorite colors aside from pink. So of course, I, I have, I don't even know how many goofs I have. I have one, two, three, and I think some more over there. So I have several goofs, high grades, master grades. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to add him to my collection. Okay, huh, I'm getting winded of talking. I normally don't talk this long. Got some more paper that's not exciting. All right, <sighs> next one up. I have a, another narrative Gundam. Here he is, a unicorn kit. I know I said that I don't really like unicorn kits that much, but, but, hold your hate comments just yet. I actually like the little ponytails that this guy has. I don't know, I'll call them ponytails, but tails, whatever you wanna call them. Um, I don't know what it is about these little ponytail things. I think they're so interesting. And, um, you know, I have the Master Grade, uh, high, Master Grade, High Grade, Master Grade Phoenix. And I don't know what it was about this kit that just kind of made me want it. I know why, it's the ponytails. I just thought that's so weird on a kit. I know a lot of people don't like the little ponytails that are on the shields, but I don't, you know, I mean, we'll see. Really, I still don't know. I hope I don't regret picking this guy up. But, um, I don't know. I just like those ponytails. I mean, like right there, you see them? I don't know what I was thinking. Sometimes you just buy something and then you, and then you get it and you're like, why did I buy this again? I'm kind of feeling this way about this kit. Melissa, you know? We'll see. Hopefully it won't be a bad build because... Because, uh, I mean, you know, some kits are just like, usually I have a good time putting, you know, have a good time, you know, building the kit. Obviously, why would I spend, I probably have like thousands of hours of work behind me. Um, so obviously I like building them. But sometimes you just have those kits that are just like, you got to stop for a second because it's pissing you off so much. So I hope that this guy won't be one of those model kits. There's only a few of them that really have, have like irritated the bejesus out of me. So, like... The Massacroid Thunderbolt Gundam. That one. Maybe one day I'll do a review. But that Gundam really pissed me off. Okay, moving on to the rest of what's in the box. I'm sorry, I'm starting to get talking too much. So I'm sorry if this video comes off to be a little too bit long. But, you know, I'll try to edit out all my uh, rants in here. The next one up is the 30 Minute Missions. This kit right here. Um, I know that, well, you guys know that I mostly only do Gundam kits. So I saw these and uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel about these really. I really only stick to Gundams just because I just, I, I don't know. I just, that, that's it. I don't do Zoids. I did one Zoid. I built one for my sister. Um, I have some Full Metal Panic kits. But overall, I really only like to do Gundam. So there's two of these. I got a red one and a white one. I'm actually really liking this kind of red design. It kind of looks like a Exia inner frame, like the round joints is kind of what vibe is giving me and a kind of like Barbados looking ab section, like it's so thin looking. Um, you know what these kind of remind me of? What was that Lego show? Bionics? No. You know where they're like ninjas, they're not ninjas, but like old history or I don't remember. I just know I just got those toys when I was younger to play with, but I know they were like Lego something. And they're kind of reminding me of that for some reason. I was kind of ugly. I'm gonna have to go research Lego Asian toys or something. Cause I, I don't know. I remember it being some Asian themed, some like di warriors or something. I don't know. I'm starting to get talk a little crazy now. I hope somebody knows what I'm talking about. All right. Now, the little bit of accessories um, that are in here. Let's take a look. I got first one, LED unit, color yellow, obviously, if the box doesn't give it away. Um, I kind of like these a lot because they're kind of bright. Well, I don't know if you consider it pricey, but I hope, does this come with a ba battery's not included? Damn Bandai, could you just include a battery? Now I gotta go run to the dollar store and find a battery for this thing. Gotta Google what size this takes. 
But I actually, I wasn't really into putting LED stuff in it because it's more work and I buy batteries. But I bought a set off um, eBay or something, a knockoff LEDs, and I turned them on. I was like, oh wow, this looks really freaking cool. So now I want to put LEDs on like all my kits. Will I ever turn LEDs on? Except for like one and twice? Probably not. But you know, that one time you do you turn on the LEDs and you're like, oh wow, this looks awesome. It's all worth it, right? Oh, here is another set, um, some green ones. So yeah, I got yellow and green. You know, I kind of, I should have got, wow, this feels like there's nothing in here. Like, like it's like, it's like the box are empty. I guess the LEDs are like, don't weigh nothing, apparently. Does this one have batteries as well? I hope so, because this was a set of two. Does it say on here? Oh, it says LR41. I need four batteries. Battery's not included. Come on, really, Bandai? Like, how much is a battery to produce? I don't know, acquire, like, less than a dollar? You can't just put it in there for, like, 25 cents by what batteries cost? Oh, here's some more of these, uh, Bionics. I'm calling them Bionics. The, uh, 30-minute missions. Here I have the multi-booster unit. And the option, option weapon one for Porta Nova. I got these two right here. Accessories for the other 30 minute missions. Okay, oh, looks like the parts are swappable. Okay, pretty cool. Not bad. Now I got a whole bunch of, um, because I have the real great Tazabi and now I have the real great new. So obviously your girl has got to put them in cool poses. So I got a whole bunch of more accessories I got two of these action bases right here to put to put both the sasabi and the venom against each other obviously and I got a lot here. oh I spilled everything everywhere okay Whew. okay I got these funnels right here. I got yellow and I got a set of blue. I got two of each um, because I plan on putting them in like fighting poses and having like the um, effects part come out, you know, just like shoot, shooting each other, whatever. So I got that because I saw that there was a, um, a real great new Gundam coming with like these funnels plus the base and uh, it can't be like the same price as just buying this. So I just got this these accessories instead of buying that whole kit with everything in there. I don't know. Maybe it came out to be cheaper if you buy the kit. I don't know. But I think I did the math and it was like, that's oh, the same price. Like, what, what's the point of doing that? And I don't know. Bandai. And sometimes I really wonder what Bandai executives are thinking in terms of like setting the prices. I don't know. I mean, who knows? I don't work at Bandai. I got a, another action base. I really like these little square, not square, uh, pentagon shaped. I hope I'm using the right term here because I really like this shape right here because you can, um, I saw images on Instagram. Instagram sells me on everything, okay? Like I saw like some modelers, they have like all these connected and then you can pull off like one cool giant like pose of several Gundams. And I was like, oh, I need to have that. So I got this to pull off a pose. I got that, I showed you guys that. I got more accessories for the 30 minute missions. Here is one, looks like it's a kind of sword and shield. I have here another one, a backpack edition. <laughs> and lastly, oh, I, for I forgot about these. Again, Instagram. I need to get off the gram here because there's so many cool things that I see on Instagram with like you know, people on their models and this is a LED sword. LED sword. Lights up. I mean it can't get much cooler than this, right? So does it come in? I think this is only one color. Red though. Yeah, so it's only red. Um, I believe there are other colors as well. It would have been cool if you could swap, like change the colors on the setting. Um, but I guess not. So 
they know how to market their goods. You got to buy individual swords for every color. Very smart, guys. It's how you make money. So, yeah, I'm, I hope this does this come with the LED. Please tell me this comes with LED. No info on here. Probably, I'm going to guess not. I got to go to the dollar store and buy LEDs. But whatever. I thought this was really freaking cool. Can you, like, I don't think you can kind of grasp the size of, <laughs> oh, I almost forgot the last thing. Well, let me make sure that, um, oh, I'm making a mess. Did I, sh did I show you guys this one? I don't think so. It's another 30 minute mission um, and it's the option armor for commander set. So another one. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited. Oh no. Well, luckily I checked in here because I forgot to show you guys this and this right here, the LED unit for the unicorn. I am pretty pumped, but you know, I've been trying to get my hands on the Exia LEDs because I was cheap and I got the regular version because the LED version was like 300 and something dollars. So I was like, no, I'm just gonna get the basic version. And uh, at the time, I think Bandai didn't have the LED as an option to buy. They released the lights later on, I think. I don't remember, it was a long, it's been a while since I bought the Exia Perfect Grade, but I've been trying to get my hands on the LEDs for the Exia, but I guess they're not on sale right now so i gotta wait hopefully when i go back to japan maybe i can nab them but i got the unicorn ones so i hope this won't be too difficult to put into the perfect grade i don't know but again will i ever be actually opening the case cutting these guys on closing the case looking at it for a few minutes and then turning them off i uh, probably not i'm probably gonna put this on Turn them on once and be like, oh, that's so cool. Cut them off and then never use them again. But, I mean, I don't care. I wanted this. I was like, I'm, they, I can't even talk. I'm so excited to, like, do all this. Now, I got to find some time. And lastly, I got these. What is this? This is in straight up Japanese. MS. I. You, I'm not even going to try. I haven't studied Japanese in way too long. So these are, we can just focus, like little scenes of battle damaged mobile suits and Gundams. And I thought this was really cool. This is a mystery box. So I bought the, um, I got the whole set here. So I'm hoping that each one will come in here. It's not gonna be like four of like the Zaku head. That will be pretty disappointing because this was kind of expensive. I think this whole unit was like 40 something dollars. So it's kind of pricey. But I actually love collecting cool little things like this. Aside from just Gundams, um, Gundam model kits, I really like finding these things here in Japan. And so I believe, yeah, these are mystery boxes. They're not from the Gachapon thing. You have to actually buy these. And they sell them at different department stores you can buy, your, you know, get these at. But I'm pretty excited. Let me know if you guys want to see like a review going over each one. But yeah, that is everything in the box. Let me show you guys because this is a lot. I know, my room's a mess. It's just a disaster in here, but there's just some things I'm working on over there. Hey, Winry. She's over there sleeping. Oh, she's awake now. Here is the massive end all. And then I just got a bunch of stuff over here. But yeah, that is everything that came inside the box. And this as well. And again, a huge thank you to Nichip HQ for sponsoring my channel. Don't forget to use my code Gumplameli to save yourself 10% off. I'm going to have the link down in the description below to the website. And that's it for the unboxing. Again, a huge, huge thank you for Hobby Search for sponsoring this unboxing video for you guys. Let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite kit. Which one should I start on first? Because right now, honestly, I'm leaning towards the Rogue Grade new because I just finished the Rogue Grade Sazabi. But... I don't know, I'm kind of just like, I don't know, I kind of want to do everything and I know I can't do everything at once because I'm only one person, I get two hands. But yeah, let me know which one you guys like the best. And thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe. I'm so, so close to 100,000. I can almost taste it. I'm almost there. Um, That's my goal. 
I hope to get it before the year's over. We'll see. If Again, thank you guys for all the support. I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas and a happy New Year's. And I'll see you around for the next video. Adios.